distribution of natural vegetation on the basis of availability of moisture and temperature we can classify the vegetation of the world broadly into forests grasslands scrubs and tundra availability of moisture is controlled by temperature temperature controls the evaporation plus transpiration rate that is the amount of water loss from plants in relation to precipitation temperature also influences the variation of species within an area in areas of heavy rainfall huge trees may thrive to form forests as the rainfall decreases the size and density of vegetation decreases in areas of moderate rainfall grasses predominate forming the grasslands of the world roots of grasses have the ability to adapt to a dry summer and revive in the rain if the land is snow covered they lie dormant they sprout back to life once the temperature warms up in the areas of heavy rainfall dense growth of huge trees is seen as rainfall decreases stunted trees grow further apart from each other in dry areas very few small trees grow very scattered in dry areas of low rainfall thorny shrubs and scrubs grow deep roots help them to get water and thorny and waxy surfaced leaves reduce loss of moisture by transpiration tundra vegetation of cold polar regions comprises very small plants mosses and lichens broadly forests are of two types evergreen and deciduous depending on the season when they shed their leaves evergreen forests do not shed their leaves simultaneously in any season of the year deciduous forests shed their leaves in a particular season to prevent loss of moisture through transpiration these forests are further classified as tropical or temperate based on their location in different latitudes Thank you.